Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Nashley, and for today's video, I wanted to do budget with me for paycheck number two. I am still trying to figure out what's the best way to show how I'm digitally budgeting. So for today, I'm gonna have me on the screen. Hi, and I'm gonna have the I'm gonna be screen recording my iPad since I do budget on my iPad. I'm gonna screen record and have it next to me so you guys can see what I'm doing as I explain how I'm budgeting for week two. So. As you can see, I haven't actually gone in and added week one. Um, I have it written down in my physical copy, but I have to go in and add it digitally, so we'll do that later. But for week two, we're going to start off with income. And for today, for this week, we're going to be working with a little bit more because um, I have two jobs, like I've mentioned previously. And for one of them, which is my student um, internship that I am getting paid for and that is what the hourly amount is about 13 hours they're still paying me even though I'm not working and for additional I am collecting unemployment for my second job which is a part-time job um, at a store and I haven't been working for over a month there so the additional is going to include unemployment uh, Poshmark sale and I got a return for um, Walmart because I ordered some tires they never ended up getting them to me it was a whole thing so I ended up getting my money back so it's 101 101 64 plus 16 plus 6 so we're at 7 61 so 7 61 and then that, I'm just gonna add those up. So what I do is, there's a quick easy formula instead of going back to my calculator, I'll do equal sum, and then I'll just highlight the ones that I'm doing and then press return, and it'll do the math for me. So we're working with 800, is that right? Oh, it's supposed to be 64. This is 64. Okay, so we're working with $895.85. So first thing I always do is tithes. So we're going to be taking out 80. And then for rent, 50. Upstart, it's going to be 36. Sprint and insurance together is 75. So I'm only going to put it in one. So that's going to be zero. Because um, the way I do my cash envelope, I have it categorized as bills. And I just combine the amount that I put in it together most of the time. So for Bank of America, that's not getting anything. Neither is capital, key bank. These, that's it. So for my bills, that's what we're going to be stuffing. So that's 241 241 the total so for remaining that's just so I can know what the running total is of the amount that I'm working with the easy way to do this is the total of my full income minus the total of the bills so we are left with six hundred and fifty four dollars and eighty five cents it's crazy to see this amount of money still as I was doing this budget earlier um, but because I'm working with so much additional income with unemployment, I am using that to my advantage and I am um, putting it towards my credit card um, debt because I'm trying to be consumer debt free and just focus on my loans. So for capital, on that note, we're putting 258 three and that completely pays off my capital credit card so the total for that is and then for remaining is going to be the same thing so what i'm going to do is take the remaining minus the new total so now we're working with three hundred and ninety six dollars and one cent we have gas i'm going to give myself ten dollars Personal, we're doing 14. For food, 
10. It feels good to finally put money into all of the cash envelopes that I keep in my wallet. Um, for Poshmark, I kind of just want to add a little bit. So by the time the world does open up, I have money to work with so I can source for Poshmark. And miscellaneous is always good because I've already, um, like I mentioned before, it's always good to have a little bit just in case somebody asks you, oh, do you have a dollar for tip or whatever it is? Because it happens to me multiple times. It's better to just... Um, it's better to just have it just in case because instead of dipping into other categories. Okay, so total for that is $44. So for remaining, it's going to be equals, and then we're going to go back to the remaining here, this amount minus the total. And we have $352.02. So for sinking funds, which are my favorite, honestly, I love being able to see these little mini savings accounts in my envelopes fill up. So for savings, we're putting 5502 just to get rid of those two cents that we have left over. Travel is getting 115 Michael, 5 Christmas, 15 Birthdays, 15 car is getting $130. If you saw my sinking funds tracker video, um, you would you would know the little update that I had that I had to use a lot of my savings to get a couple things to fix my car. And this $130 that I put in is already gone because I had to, um, it basically I was just putting back the 100 that I used for the tires. And I ended up using that to buy the additional pieces that I needed as well. So a lot of money and it's it was gone before I even had a chance to put it in my envelope but I think I have like two dollars left over so but I'm glad that I was at least able to have that money aside because my car definitely needs it 10 for medical 7 for electronics apartment nothing yet and then the total for this is return as you can see it's exactly $352, which is what the remaining had. And I like to do the way I like to do my budget is to close it out so it's zero. And that's exactly where we're at. So that's awesome. I don't know why the values are bolded. I'm gonna have to go back and fix that because some of them are, some of them aren't, which is a little weird. But um I am I had so much fun putting this budget together just because I was working with such a good amount of money and um, I'm excited for the rest of this month. I've already done over $300 towards debt over the last two weeks and I'm definitely excited for what the rest of this month has in store. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for my budget with me for week two i um want to thank you guys for surpassing 200 subscribers i'm quickly and i'm slowly but quickly growing and i love it and i'm so excited for where this channel can go so i hope you guys subscribe and tag along for the journey i also want to just plug i have an instagram now you guys can go ahead and follow i want to share more of um, my budgeting and my life with budgeting and all that good stuff so if you would like to see more of me follow me on there but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one